Howdy, kids. Um, <coughs> holy Lord, yeah, that's rude. Within a couple seconds, R.I.P. headphone users. <coughs> now, excuse me, I had to have some puff from my mouth and then some lemonade from my mouth. Um, wow, my, my, holy crap, my exposure is way up. Hold on a second, folks. Let me fix this. See, I usually configure this so, oh, no, where's, oh, uh, advanced settings? Ah, yeah, that's right. Uh, I got turned down again. Uh, turn up the exposure a little bit, my man. Just not that much. That's fine. It's time of the year now where I'm not going to lose that much daylight. Holy wow. So I was having a couple of technical issues anyway, and I just found another one I could fix. Uh, my audio had a big time lag. Not this audio of me talking or my video on here. The only audio that was lagging was the audio from the GameBridge, so I rebooted. Uh, well, I, there was an update for OBS. I did that. I rebooted. I also went in and fixed up some of the keyframe interval settings and this should be a lot better. So now we're in DOS box. Um, <coughs> somebody commented there the other day about me showing some tanny stuff and I was like, oh, that's old stuff you're, you're, you're looking at. I got such a better setup here now and I can hear the, the fan kicking in on my, uh, i7 there that I'm using this with. I can show this off so much better now because I'm not using the Toshiba now. The Toshiba was just bare minimum controls, really shaving down some stuff. Here, I can adjust for like sharpness and color and exposure and everything. So this is fine. So let's get down some games. So um, there's not just going to be Tandy-centric games. There's going to be some stuff that is just uh, really for... The bare minimum CGA. Now, my poor Pi 1 has departed, so I've replaced it with a Pi 3A+. Plus. Um, grunt on this thing is way better, so I have to actually usually hit Control and F11 or F12 to adjust. Uh, I may, when I do my work on the Toshiba here, actually fix that up PCEM and do stuff on there instead, uh, depending on, you know, not just the different machines I could set, but uh, if it cooperates with um, EMU driver for some stuff. Well, this is fine for now because I, I, I like the 240p thing because it was only 200p. It did some things. So, yeah, let's try AB Juice. That's the Beetlejuice game based on the cartoon. Oh, wow. Wow, that is way too fast the way that jumped. We'll get that down. Um... But it is based on the Nelvana cartoon, which is in turn based on the movie. But no, it is not based directly on the movie. Alright, so we are going to just hit enter. Make sure. Yep, yeah, there's my action button. Oh. I will shoot a man in the back. Now you can get that. See, if you don't lock her down sometimes, she will suck up your power-up, and then he gives you a power-up. As so, well, there's uh, beetles you can eat, like this guy. And uh, he'll uh, his attacks will upgrade. But, uh, like, yeah, she tries to clamp the bones that you deal with, but, ah, uh, sandworm. Power-up. But if she, like I said, Gets there first. She'll suck up the power. I was like, ah, that's dirty. First couple times I ever played this. And we'll do one more round just because. Where's that beetle? Yeah, getting. Now, can I shoot my head off? Or is that going to be the next? Oh, crap. <gasps> you got me. Anyways, that's beetle juice. We're not, I'm not going to do a super long video. Um... I gotta go to work in a while. I got my ride and everything fixed up. That's cool and all, but it's just like I don't want to spend too much time with this. I recorded for over an hour, then my oh my damn audio was out of fucking tune. Uh, <clears throat> let's try. Now, Tandy, and we'll use the mouse. Uh, Nova Logic was the company that the developed devs that ported this for Tato, so the uh, arcade classics. And Tandy was hella wide supported here in North America. Uh, so anybody who's like from Europe and you're used to the Amstrad uh, CPC line being, you know, your budget-friendly MS-DOS clone 
compatible or XT. Here it was the Tandy, and the Tandys did it right off the bat, copying directly off of IBM at the time. So, okay. So, let's get in the game. Seems like it's running at a fair tick. Now, this was meant to run on even like Turbo XTs, but also on original XTs and 386s. Um, let's show this off real quick. Anybody who watches LGR knows about this game. I can ask my friendo if he can make sure the pop filter is along with him. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Crap, I meant to milk that. Poo. You deserve that. But, uh, yeah, these were titles that were really, like, supporting the Tandy hardware because just so many people had Tandy stuff. It was, you know, Radio Shacks were everywhere. You had, you know, various places who saw this and the fact that people enjoy these nice little cheap computers that could do everything. You can get them in the middle of nowhere, or at least mail order. You know, they're iconic. Young Sheldon even has one on there. I know, I've seen the 8-Pick, I think, but I also watched the show, and I was just like, I watched the show at the time, and I saw the episode, I was like, hey! Anyway, one more. Uh, and I didn't have a dial-up modem or anything like that. I didn't live in the, in the Silicon Prairie, which is what a lot refer to uh, Texas as and at that date and point. I mean, like, Halt and Catch Fire is actually set around that somewhat era, although everything started moving towards California then. Uh, <laughs> enough about that. But, I mean, yeah. Oh, no, I need some weaponry. Die, 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 die. Everybody die. Everybody die. Everybody dies. Everybody dies. Everybody. Oh, no. Yes. But, uh, yeah, this no logic title. Uh, there's a few of them. I'll probably play Rastan next just to kind of show off one more what they can do with it because Rastan's really nice. Rastan really played to the strengths of the Tandy uh, hardware. My dream Tandy setup would be a Tandy with Elsin RL along with one of those RGB to HDMI uh, get-ups that are uh, done up with the Pi Zeros, but mine done for um, the RGB that you would get in one of these uh, XTs because of the 480i RGBI interface. But uh, besides that, a GoTech with the OLED uh, screen and the new open source stuff uh, firmware. And uh, yay, gotten. I'm going to quit out of this. Can I just get out of that? Yeah, I can. Weird. Uh, but I would, I would, I would have that. I would have the GoTech. Uh, I get one of those um, AdLib clones for the ISA slot. I've uh, got a floppy drive, so I don't need another, and I don't need a um, hard drive, MFN hard drive. Some people like to get that XT to I, uh, XT to ISA thing or whatever. And, uh, no. <laughs> Nah, uh, GoTech be fine. I would also get, there's an adapter for the joystick, which lets you use, like, Genesis or, I think, Master System gamepads, because these are essentially two-button gamepad games. This is, like, this era of computing and what I'm playing specifically is meant to be, like, NES and Master System competitive. So, yeah, so this isn't quite, like, a turbo graphics, but, like, okay, so, yeah, actually, let's do Rastan. Like I said, the reason why I'm doing this is a viewer that said, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool, dandy stuff, and blah, blah, I'm like, I should do it with some better quality capture now instead of all fuzzy and crap. Instead of all being all fuzzy, the tanny stuff, I can process this version a lot better. I had the old Toshiba that I was capturing with now that I'm capturing with this i7 and I can do uh, stuff in post and quick sync H264 I actually can uh, unlock a bit more power out of out of the uh, little game bridge that I got for now until I get something better maybe get a Roxy or something like I'm saying like I go on eBay and get something like that that I can do pass through and 
for my uh, component as well. But then I can be doing multiple things. Uh, man, there's so many of them. But, um, I f keep forgetting it. You know what? I don't really need that, but that's like a special, like, sort of projectile thing. Um, but yeah, I just get all that, and then the, the adapter lets you use that. There's a YouTuber that you can just talk to him about, and he makes them. There we go. Monsters are upgrading a little bit. Um, but... Um, that would be my dream setup, and I, like I said, optionally for like a little, uh, a little thing. If I wanted to capture or anything like that, I could use that H HDMI RGB thing. That's turned out to be a really nice little cheap solution for people for uh, doing HDMI capture, uh, for doing capture as well as you know using modern things like. Like uh, Adrian Black shows, like he's set one up for like with a, with a Tandy using that uh, display output that they have. Oh, that runs out. Oh, that's stupid. There we go. Yeah, this one. I forgot about this thing. This thing's wicked fucking good. Eat me. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool like that. I would have something like that, but yeah, ideally that would be my ideal Tandy setup. I've seen one guy has a VGA card and everything, and he has, I'm like, that's cool and all, but man, that's too much for me. Like, that takes away from it. I, if I'm going to use VGA, it's a cool show that I can do VGA, but like, oh yeah, that thing kills me right away. Anyway, it does something weird with the audio, so I'm going to get out of this one. I think you can turn the music off. Cool. Anyways, no. <laughs> um, let's just go right into this again. Oh, 12 minutes already. I'll try to get this done by a little, like, a little bit after four. And I'll drink of my uh, lemonade. Yeah, ideally, I would love one with the original keyboard and mouse. They were built rather nicely as well. Oh, yeah, die hard. So Batman, Batman is uh, a port of one of the ones by Ocean, I believe, or something like that. Uh, the Batman 89 movie, the Ocean port, which is fine. It's an up-to-jump game, and it does play, but eh, I'm not in the mood to play it. I want to show something hilariously cool. All right, so let's turn it on speed. These games were made for the XT, so this is Activision, but... Uh, developed through Dynamix. Dynamix did a lot of these games at the uh, turn of the decade. They're going into the 90s. It says 1990, but um, I think it's a little bit too slow. Let me hit that a little bit faster. Uh, when I have to boot into this thing because it's a bit faster, I have to actually play with the CPU speed. But this game here, you know, there's also Ghostbusters 2. I played that back in the day. I didn't know this one existed. This one actually is rather full-bodied for, for something like this is very ingenuitive two buttons and a joystick but the joystick actually works differently than you think so let's let's just hop into the main menu here let's enjoy this a little bit more but um <laughs> yeah this has decent art for what it is 16 colors 320 by 200 I think I can speed this up a little bit. There's a little blood on the dot. Look at him, John McClane. Let's slightly step that down. Okay, so is it spacebar I gotta do? Yeah, spacebar and spacebar again or enter? Spacebar, enter. Was it the... Oh yeah, joystick. It picks up in the joystick automatically. This one will pick up on your CPU as well and your graphics hardware, I think. I don't think I had to set this up for Tandy at all. I think it just sounds like... Because the machine's set up as a Tandy. Um, so, there's two buttons here. Oh, yeah, it needs to be a little bit faster. Yeah, that clock is slightly too fast. Alright, so, you have two buttons with your joystick that do two different things. One button movement, one button 
uh, combat. Now enter will select your piece there. No, don't use your gun. How do I deselect it again? I can't remember how I did it before. Piece for pause. It's one of these buttons. Because this is a whole thing. Um, See, you can use the gun. Did I just use all? It just all oh man. Oh, hold on a minute. Let's uh, let's fix this for a moment. I uh, I think I did something wrong here. Okay, let's try this again. Now first, let's um, thumbstick it. I do want this to be thumbsticked. Let me get ready with the uh, thing. I have to hit hate H. H is the... Uh... Oh, the clock's a little slow. A little fast. Alright, so. I just gotta make sure I go through that way. Alright, so there's two buttons to this. One's for your movement. One's for combat. We may have some combat in a moment. I see where I'm to. No. It it's creative as in it gives you more controls with just something like this. And I can see like um there's um that adapter you can get in something like a Sega Genesis or or Master System gamepad would definitely work for this. Alright. Did I have the gun selected? Oh! There we go. Yeah, the gun selected all by itself. That's weird. So H is for the gun. I was like, man, I'm taking a pounding here. There we go. I can go in there. Good. But now I can, yeah. I gotta remember in combat. But yeah, this is Die Hard, and this is one of the Dynamics games. And uh, you look in the manual, you can search online, find it. There's a PDF out of it. I forget where uh, where exactly it is. I just had to run and get it. What? Who followed me in? She's gonna beat me up. Uh, did I get in? <sighs> no, I think he got me. Oh well. But it, it, you look in the manual, they even show like not just the, you know captures of graphics and stuff like this, like Alan Rickman. Um, it in game like has that kind of like pit fighter Mortal Kombat look to it. We're gonna get out of it. That's just you know cool enough though. Uh, we're gonna try another game because like I said, we're you know, I got 12 minutes left. I'm setting a time for myself. Uh, I've been doing nicely right now. Weather, work, and the like has been okay. First vaccination done. Second one soon. Um. Hmm, something else I can just play with the gamepad. Oh! And something that looked nice on here. Whoa, that thing looked a little weird. There it goes. Um, I'm just going to let it hop into like the main screen first, essentially. Um, but yeah, working on things like that, and like I said, COVID vaccinations are probably going to open us up, but you can only come in if you have your paperwork, if you know what I mean. So, that's fine.
Uh, I don't have to worry so much then if I have tourists. Tip nicely and don't get me sick. But I do have my first vaccination. I should hopefully get my second soon. And hopefully that sticks. But yeah, that's handy there. I'm loading. Um, I like using the D-pad on this. Like a, like a... Oh, I should... There we go. Speed up a little bit. Sometimes it's a little bit too slow. You need to give it a little bit. But, um... Yeah, it looks really nice on this. The TV is, you know, showing that nice scan line look real nice like. Yo, get up here, you top knotted fool. Uh, this place is really nice for a um, up as jump game on DOS, but it's very much not a lazy port. It's um, This is very much, you know, places, strengths of the hardware. I haven't tried it on an actual Tandy, but I imagine it actually plays quite nicely. Now, their fire won't hit me, which is fine. I gotta wait for them to play it here now, because otherwise I can't get that jewel. Kill! Kill. <laughs> yeah, it looks really nice. And supposedly it runs on an XT. Here we go. But yeah, as far as these games go, that's fine. So we're going to hop out of this. Um, yeah, other than that, life's fine. Uh, family, probably see them in August. That'd be great. Um, uh, really impressed with Pi 3A Plus, just for something that has a cheap buy. Mm, let's see if Golden Axe plays nicely. Tandy. Lemmings, I would do, but lemmings is lemmings. Uh... Oh, wait, I need the manual for this one, so I'll pause for just a moment. All right, found the manual for that one. Found the word. So, we'll turn this down a little bit. Which one is select? Well, let me select. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? She gives us. All right, let's see if this works now. Hey, did it. All right, we're going to D-pad this. I guess we got to wait. Still doing the... But yeah, 16 colors. I think this may be somewhat of a port of the ST version. Let's get this a little bit faster. Come on. I don't have so much time left. Okay. Oh, here we go. It's just being slow. Okay. My good friend died, so you hold, avoid that whole heart-wrenching part. Holy crap. Holy crap. There we go. Now that's playable. Swap this. Oh, I want the D-pad. Looks like what it's doing is just the whole background is just a layer and they probably map in. And they map in some stuff. Ooh, the sound though. So, <laughs> the music though, they, <sighs> oh, that's me dying.
Man, this is like getting to be a bit on the cheap side. Can I just. Yeah, I don't get to keep it though. Oh, asshole. Man, that music. They could have done better with the, the sound. Not just because it's like... It feels like the developers behind this title, whoever they were, didn't quite understand. It's like, oh, here's a few instruments we can use and the thing instead of like actually making a good habit of it. Jesus, this thing is going off like a Let's see if I Yeah, call down the magic. There we go. Shit, Jesus. It's not the best game. But it, it tries to be the arcade game, though. Like, it, it, more power to it. This is probably taking so long to effing load, and it's just like observing the floppy drive thing. I don't know what the um, thing to do in DOS boxes to negate the fl floppy speed. But, I mean, there it is. There's Golden Axe. If I had this back in the day, I would have played it. But yeah. If I had this, I wouldn't have been saying no to it. Ten bucks allowance for this game? Better than thirty bucks for the floppy. Uh, for the, um... Better than thirty bucks for the, um... You know, the cartridge. If not more. You know, I think if we had had uh, Sega Genesis, would have, the game would have been sixty, seventy dollars and trying to work out the uh, exchange. I only got really a couple more minutes, so let's uh, let's get a couple more little gems that I found here. Um, Mach three. Oh, I would play long into that. We don't have to go strictly half an hour. I do have to keep an eye on the time. Rise stand. Both showing my capture and well. Both showing the capture and my just playing the game. But it, it will look a lot better now on this with, you know, the settings I've instituted versus before, which is very washy and soft. It does a little, look a little soft now, but not like it did before, if that makes sense. Like, there was a lot of, like, combing and everything to it as well. I was able to get into the settings and do a lot. But, like, as a two-button game... And I gotta say, it's right up there with the Sega Master System version... But just quite serviceable. And this music they got a bit more. And like Arkanoid really has the best music, but this isn't as horrible. And if you use the Tandy actually back in the day, or anything, oh, uh, real burp. Um, I can get my thing this time. Fuck y'all! I still missed it. Hubris! Sheer fucking hubris. Can I get up and over? Uh, can I? No. Oh, well. Uh, anyways. It, 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 you know, Master System has a nice port of it as well, although, you know, he, he's nice and big here. You know, he's... It's more like his arcade version. That's one good thing. There, there was a bit of power behind having a PC. Well, an MS DOS machine. At, uh, you know, especially a Tandy. Going even getting into the 90s. Not in the 90s, but getting into the 90s. It, it was still 
Holding strong is like an, you know, when you still had commonly in a lot of territories, including North America, 8-bit was still, you know, the primary name of the game. Yes, computers were supposed to be, you know, the bigger step up in some ways, or in some ways it, it, the programmers just didn't quite get the actual hardware and how games actually should be. Some games are really nice on a physical standpoint, but they're really boring. Or they're really good, but th they just look really archaic for the time being. And stuff like this, like Tandy is being used. So, like, that's what I mean. Like, games like this where they kind of hit both notches. The, the Tato ports, for the most part, were not bad at all. But, and that's not being apologetic. That's like, oh, damn. It's like impressive for what it is. Getting a little. Get over here. Can she? No. He takes a couple hits. Oh, what? It killed me. Oh, no. What nay? Die. Yes. Someone gives you a lot more reach. I think it hits for more. You just plow through. Usually I don't die this much, but I'm just having fun. Um, but, yeah, Rastan. Arguably, like even fades off, like that's that's like, like it doesn't. I don't think sound this bad on an actual Tandy because the sustain kind of screws up on this. But come back here. Oh, that thing kills me instantly. Am I dead? Dead now? Yeah. But like, look this. I had this back in the day, I would not have objected, but no, I'm just going to get the hell out of this. Um, you can continue, though, which is fine. Um, one or two more. We'll do 40. Compromise. With myself. Come on. Go up on me, mate. Uh, stretch a little bit. I got to get ready in a bit. Out the shower, get ready for work. Hopefully it's not too boring. I would like to stay busy at work. Uh, let's see what else we have here to show off. Last couple things. Um, Operation Wolf is a thing. That's true. I've not played that before in here. Um, is it this one I just say? Ooh, that's got to get turned down. That's the cracker. Um, and that's a crack tro. Nothing. Okay. Uh, we are going to play with uh, Mouse, I guess. Tandy. Hopefully it's a pleasure. Let's uh, turn up the speed on this old girl. They might be doing the whole do -it, do -it, do -it thing again, which, you know. Oh, again. Tato. Tato. Like, look at... Nothing wrong with that intro. Nice. Now, let's see how the mouse plays. You can't select any of that other stuff because it's just showing you how you're going to have to be going through. Let's, uh... Hello. Oh. Yeah, the mouse is where it's at. Little piggy. Man, am I going to start running on bullets? Like again, another game I would have loved to have had, like ten, fifteen, even twenty dollars retail paying for this. Yeah, it would have been a steal.
Bullets. Bullets. I have no... Oh no! I killed him. Am I dead? Or am I right at the beginning kind of thing? I think this is a continue. I'm going to play this for just a couple more minutes. Actually, you know what? Let's just quit out of this. Dodge box. Yeah, Operation Wolf. <laughs> By far, not a horrible game. Like, some people are like, oh, it would be horrible, like, you know, in CGA and that, but... Really thinking of myself. 12, 13 years old. 10 with those not real in front of me. Paul Floppies. Bunch of games. I'm like, hey, kid. Ten bucks for this one. Like, yeah, because I was paying like three or four dollars for shareware totals. Somebody said like ten bucks for that on a floppy, full, done. Taxes in, even if you're paying like twelve, thirteen. All right, so Operation Wolf, um, Marastan. <coughs> mm, let's find one more. Tunnels. No. Runnels is the surname of a wrestler, I believe. You're going to ask me, and I say, Tandy. California Dreams. I turn the analog for this one. Tunnel Shooter. Man, I had this. I, from when I started, I didn't. I got this, you know, the old, as some people refer to, Dodgy Dave kind of thing. Copy that, Flabby. I copy that floppy. I copy that fuck out of that floppy. I was envious of my cousin's ST versus mine. But I think most of my ignorance came from not knowing that there was such a rich amount of of uh, software that was out there. That I, I got to, you know, check out a couple of Tandy 1000 enthusiast magazines at the time. Like, you know, it was 9192 and talking about, like, you know, People have their EX or HX, and they're like running VGA video off of them. You know, all these specialty cards through those, you know, s form factor proprietary, but you know, the actual electric behind them is not uh, those expansion cards. Shit, I missed him. <coughs> him too. Um, but like 40 megabyte hard cards and all this stuff and everything, but you know, not really seeing too much about these games and knowing about them. Like, you know, the sheer amount of those, uh, there's, you know, the Dynamax made titles for Activision. There's, you know, Novologic made all those titles for Tato. Titles for Tato or Tato. Titles for Tato. Say that fast. Now we're going to quit out of that one. Maybe one more. We'll see one more. Uh, I was going to say... Death Track, but no, that's actually not that good of a game. It's not enjoyable. It's really not. I, I don't want to show off things like, you know, technically they're good, but really they're not. You know what? But I'm a masochist at the same time. Tendy. Sega Computer Software presents Outrun. That's a bit of an awkward pause, though, he is. All right. It's odd, but uh, <laughs> yeah, come on. I actually got a little ways into this. I'm not gonna play this for too long. I'm gonna exit out of it. If I have to. But um, yeah, <laughs> uh, one of the guys from Retro Tom. Go check him out. He's under. Uh, at run underscore 86 on Instagram. Here's Matt Colley. And he's a big time fan. Like, he gets like the little model kits and everything like that too, even though I've been at the, Which look fucking sweet, by the way, Matt. God damn. Um, <laughs> I told us I could play this there the other night. Just putting, putting together models. Like, just like, oh my god, my condolences kind of thing you're saying. I was like, eh. 
Again, $10 total. This would have been fine, or, you know, 15 20 Where I grew up to, and, you know, cost of things back in the day. I can remember NES titles being in the magazine, in, in, the, in, the, in the, the magazines. The catalogs being like, you know, eighty dollars sometimes. I remember when the uh, they had the action set, which had like the track and field thing and everything on it, and uh, for the NES, and that was like two hundred fifty, three hundred dollars. I've seen some places like that were less cheaper, charging like three hundred fifty, almost four hundred for that combo. Um, jerk. See if I have enough time to keep going. If I could do start to finish, that'd be fine. I'll let it go for that long. No super scaler here. <laughs> Not fun either sometimes. But yeah. I don't know who developed this one. But there were a few titles in DOS. For Sega, like Outrun. Yeah, I think Afterburner is another one. I gotta find that one. Alright. <laughs> this is not like playing like 2006. My like, lord. I, oh, I also installed Cannonball on my um, Pi, so I gotta figure the ins and outs of that. And I could play that. It's starting off. It's like Sonic the Hedgehog walking up a hill. God damn you. There we go. It's like, yeah, trying to run up a hill. Sonic the Hedgehog starting off. It's horrible. You asshole. That's what we're going to have to... Come on. Let's see if I can get up there, or am I gonna like just not? Yeah, I'm just gonna not. Does that not again for some reason? The audio sketch set with this game. I don't know why. Maybe it's cause like the little bits of the PCM audio, but no. I got about that far. We're going to get out of this. And... Actually, we're going to do one honorable mention. It's because it's not a Tandy title. Crazy Cars. I guess run me. Yep. Yeah, we're going to fix this for a minute. We'll have to... Still... Still a bit fast. This one is one of those ones that require an XT to actually be saying, yes, I'm running, in order for it to assign its speed because it depends on pound that 4.77 megahertz. So we're going to call that one a mulligan because you're not really going to get the full effect of the game. So let's start off. Now, I'm using the thumb drive. Brake, uh, forward, uh, thumb, thumb drive, thumb stick, you moron. Uh, my thumbstick though is forward for gas, back for brake, left and right, but you get used to it, right? You can actually drive. One guy swerved, you know that? But be careful when you bump something, you can launch like that. Uh, and they're all going to blow past me now. And when they hit you from behind, you lose grip of the road. And they 
I'll do it to you. Titus, that was the one stupidest part of this. Should have pushed you over, not off the road. That is cheap. You gotta get all past everybody. Fire and Forget's also in here. That's um, another Titus Tuttle. We're gonna do one more for that one. And that one. Not quite safe. I wonder who all the dicks belong to. So I played this a few times. Would have loved this one too. This would have been a budget one. But I mean, like, you could argue a Chase HQ port would have been very doable using this as the basis for it. I mean, I played the Specky version. Definitely. You could def. You arsehole. You arsehole. You could definitely argue about adding a couple more things, and the Specky version would have been easily done. I mean, you could have done a couple more things and made it very Tandy centric, but yet yeah, there are some woulda, shoulda, couldas. Albeit, I would love to see some fan projects. You know, everybody sees these fan projects for Commodore sixty four, for Vic twenty, for um, you know Amiga, you know current day devs, but you never see hardly anybody. You know, Epic guy does. I I do hand that to him. He has his um, he has a series of games that he does, and he went in hard to make sure as much stuff could be supported as was possible, and it's great that there are some devs to support, but not as many. I'd love to see how far some people could push the Tandy. I mean, like an unofficial Chase HQ port or um, Super Mario Brothers. You know, somebody did it for the Commodore 64. Why the hell not? You know, you could, you know, go through dick measure. Like, it's CGA and it's XT. Like, there's that uh, Pac-Man clone. Paku Paku or something like that. And it runs on CGA. And, like, just it just looks real nice. It runs real nice. Uh, I gotta get that, actually. Um, but, um, you arsehole. Yeah, I'd like to see, like, you know, you see it in the Die Hard video die hard part of the video like you could you could do some interesting things not necessarily you know the actual execution of die hard but that as a game in and of itself um my god there was quite a few people who would have probably made something nice i'm driving here arsehole let's just catch up <laughs> this game is really good to zone out with look, look at that Um, but that's what I mean like you know there's all these ports you could have probably of stuff you know Super Mario Bros. is asking for a cease and desist but I mean I would arguably like to see you know, some pallet drops Sega Master System and the reason being is a couple things one arguably in 88688 should be able to give Z80 a run for its money. You would you would only have 16 colors at once, so you would have a palette drop, understandably, because the master system could do more colors on screen. That's just how it went. Um, but I mean, that notwithstanding, you know, some Tandy centric titles you could port over that would be amazing. You know, even an R type port. Like, what well, you would only need a button for our type that would be a hell of a gauntlet to throw down like not a programmer you only get the mercedes oh yeah i tried getting something else there no um now if anybody says oh what about gauntlet well gauntlet has been out for it um but that's what i mean like you could you could definitely have some games and like you know you, you wouldn't even have to look as far as you know that you could even get like Game Boy games and you know build upon them or something like that even something that's not too heavy handed like you were kind of limited by what you could do on screen a little bit but not as much as you you thought because there was even like you know ray casting symbol 3D and I know somebody would probably be like oh do a Doom port that would be ambitious doing Tandy 16 color now, really pushing it, you'd probably want the full 768, 
there's sound as well you can avail of. 512 megs. So it doesn't have to be big. It's mostly just dots in the background kind of thing for some stuff and, you know, suggestive lighting and some more blotchier effects to really kind of cheat. But, like I said, games like this, even with a little spit and polish and alteration and a couple of additions, you can make into a JCQ. This is a CGA, 4.77 megahertz. PC speaker, by the sounds of it, centric game. I believe these were just meant to be the same games as what was over in Europe on like the Amstrad XTs and things like that. So, you know, no, nobody even had like the expanded capabilities like the Tandy. I, I don't think quite as much. There were some things that were close, I think, in Amstrad Stable, but I've been watching some other YouTubers now with like some very niche European computers and that. That's pretty interesting. But yeah, this thing... This is amazing. Really, from a, just a standpoint of like... Simplistic gameplay that's, you know, graphically decently fun. See the stuff come in like, ah! I was actually like, oh, No way. There was something in front of me. All right, one more time. One more time. Okay, last one. Actually, I did myself there. Oh, shit. Yeah, I really do. Gotta get ready soon, though. Got about an hour until my ride shows up. I only have a few minutes to shower anyway, but... But, yeah, the, uh... The game's really, really awesome. But, like, I got Leisure Suit Larry there. I got Lemmings and everything, so I can now sit down, partake. I got a keyboard, a mouse. Oh, no, you didn't, you little prick but now I'm starting to learn I can handle this thing uh, now I gotta get my streaming stuff down and I can do the same I have set up for a stream soon I got a decent little webcam here now I have to do a little stretch and crop with it just to fit me in I'm definitely probably going to have to do this game more as a stream thing. <laughs> uh, just wish I had enough people to actually show up to test like my... Oh, that's it. We're going to close it there. Uh, I got to get ready for work, but, you know, my capture setup being a bit better, more refined as it is, I can do this now. Um, making sure that it actually looks good versus like blotchy and washed out and cropped out. But yeah, stay tuned for more stuff. Be kind to each other.